everyone, welcome back to part 50 of Let's Play Dark Souls. So today we're in the Sack of Shame because <laughs> it has been a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, so uh, to get it, the elephant out of the room out of the way, um, it's been a few months <laughs> since I've recorded an episode. Um, and I'll be getting into reasons why, but basically that's the big no-no. You're not supposed to do that on YouTube. You're supposed to stick to a strict schedule, and I have failed doing that. However, it's fine, because um, you're only going to notice this if you've been uh, watch following me as my episodes have been coming out. And um, I love you guys, but there's not that many of you. So <laughs> I would hope that the majority of people watching this right now are people who have found my series once I'm done and um, if that's the case the only thing you would have noticed is that last episode <laughs> kind of got borked um, got a corrupted footage kind of thing and kind of had to skip it so what did we miss um, not too much actually uh, I believe the episode before that we had found, joined the dark wraiths right we went ahead and got to the what are they called the four kings we uh, beat them out of sequence, and because of that, we got to see some secret secret stuff. <laughs> we learned about the true nature of the Dark Soul and all that. And so now, after that, we uh, decided to go to the depths, right? I um, can't quite remember if that included Lower Undeadburg. I believe it did. So then, uh, it means we fought the Kappa Demon, and we also fought the Gaping Dragon. And the annoying thing is that um, I actually did manage to beat him with the channeler still alive. I swear I did it. <laughs> uh, it definitely made it more challenging, but um, I was very proud of myself. Fortunately, uh, you're going to just take my word for it. You know, considering that I just disappeared, I wouldn't blame you if you don't take my word ever again. <laughs> Either way, we're back. I went ahead and backtracked my way out of the depths because um, wanted to get my comp bow here upgraded. I don't think I've ever done much bow stuff yet on the channel, so you can give that a shot as I we work our way back down. Other than that, nothing too special about our build. Just got some pyromancies equipped, as well as a flame, in case we need that. Got our handy dandy great sword of Artorius, which uh, we'll definitely keep using. And also got, ooh yeah, this thing here, uh, the dark hand, which lets us grab someone and suck their humanity, which uh, <laughs> I will showcase on the way up. So, um, as we're heading there, let me sort of explain <laughs> the why the heck I was going for so long. And uh, just take a quick rest here before I do that. The, uh, the quick, uh, short story of that, well, I'll just jump into the full story, is that basically, to be honest, I was feeling a little bit burnt out. Like I was talking about how important it is to have a schedule on YouTube. That's part of the things when I was first getting this channel going and doing research. It's like, what are the do's and don'ts of running a YouTube channel? And one of the big ones was always make sure you upload regularly. So I was making sure to do that as best as I could. Um, let's see if we can get a trick shot here. Oh, I have no arrows equipped. Big fail. So anyway, since I was trying to uh, plenty of standard errors, that'll do. Yes, since I was trying to stay with a regular upload schedule, that meant um, always uploading. Oh, wow. Oh, and how he knows. Um, that meant always uploading twice a week, I was doing. And I forget, I think I was. Oh, headshot. Nice. That eventually meant I was down to uh, once a week. I dropped to, I believe. Oh, well, yeah. Sorry, it's been been a minute since I played. I forgot. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, if you lock on, arrows are not so bad. So anyway, I was uploading, forcing myself to upload once a week, and even when I wasn't even in the mood to play or upload, which you may have started to notice my lack of enthusiasm <laughs> in some of the more recent episodes. However, we're back. Right? It's been a long break, and here I am. So, uh, going back to why I quit, <laughs> or... I still call it a break, right? We're back. It was a break. The reason was just, like I said, I was feeling kind of burnt out, is what I would describe it as. And the thing that put me over the edge <laughs> was what happened last episode. Did all that hard work, made an extra long episode, and the whole thing was just kaputs. Um, now, I've learned my lesson, made sure to do 
quite a few test recordings just now before this, so be very my jimmies would be very rustled if that happens again. But essentially that put me over the edge and I was just like, screw this. Because <laughs> it wasn't like this was all I was doing. I had a decent amount of stuff on my plate. Uh, the main thing being, I've alluded to that I'm a game developer a few times in some episodes, but uh, to keep it straight, I've been, I quit my full-time job back in 2020 and I moved back home in order to just focus on working on a game to live a uh, very frugal life <laughs> living back in with my parents. Very grateful for that opportunity. And during that time, I spent a lot of time uh, working on the game. The game is called Wilma's Dreams. If anyone wants to check it out, it's about um, my dog and what she does when she's having dreams. She's like fighting monsters. She thinks it's a werewolf. Very cute. So that's on Steam. If you want to uh, go check it out, highly recommend it. Got some footage of that on my other channel. I will definitely link some of that stuff in the description here. But basically, uh, if you don't, if you're not familiar with game development, it uh, takes a toll. <laughs> it's a lot to do. So having that on my plate with YouTube contributed to the burnout. And I basically was at the point where I'm like, time to just shift gears and focus on that. Um, now, that game came out in July, end of July. So you might think, oh, why didn't I just jump back into it? Well, I had some other things to do too. Um, in July, July being summer, I was a camp counselor for a uh, game development camp, no less. So uh, that was also a little bit draining as well. So I wanted to focus on that too. After that, then it's like, oh, I need a full-time job again. <laughs> so I went, uh, went ahead and did that. Got my new job, thankfully. Um, moved to where I have to move. And that brings us to where we are now. Um, just a few days ago, I am finally settled into my new place. Things are looking good. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling refreshed. And that's what made me want to come back finally. And so here we are. Um, now, let's talk about this dark hand real quick. Uh, what the neat thing does here, the neat thing you can do with it is that if you use the strong attack on someone like so, you just give a nice sloppy French kiss and you suck out their humanity. So um, the neat thing is that NPCs, they actually don't get upset <laughs> if you do this for some reason, probably because I'm such a good kisser, of course. But um, the cool thing is different characters have different amounts of humanity. And some of them don't let you do it at all. I think we can do it on him. Oh, you have one out, yeah. So by different amounts of humanity, um, each time you do this, you will just get one. But certain characters let you do it multiple times. Now, most of them are only going to have one. Oh, he has two. You can do this on different ones. Um, I do know that, what's her name? Uh, the maiden over here. She gives you like seven humanity, which I think is the most of any character. It's a cool little fact you can do. Um, <laughs> you can grab people and suck their humanity. Uh, the real purpose is you're supposed to do that in like online play. The idea being you steal other players' humanity. Um, but <laughs> good luck landing one of these in a PvP situation. Now, speaking of which, I will make a quick note that at least for now there won't be any PvP because um, I don't actually have internet set up yet. <laughs> like I said, I'm still moving in. The guy's supposed to be coming tomorrow. Hopefully that all gets squared away and then I'll be able to showcase some more multiplayer stuff. Now, as far as what's the rest of the playthrough is going to look like. Um, I might sort of cut back a bit, mainly on sort of PvP and Covenant stuff. I'm going to try to showcase some stuff, of course, but like the thing about PvP versus doing like storyline stuff is that it's very hard to get things to happen consistently. Uh, what I mean by that is like I had a very, I had a way of setting up my episodes, right? right? Like I would meticulously plan out where I'm going and what I'm going to be doing. But uh, the thing about that is, if let's say I wanted to plan an invasion. Well, that could be either five minutes of standing around getting waiting to get invaded, or it could be a whole hour <laughs> of getting invaded. And um, yeah, that's part of what was making me sort of sick and fed up <laughs> because near the end, because with the whole idea was that I was going to focus a lot more of PvP stuff in um, the new game plus, which is where we're at. And which meant a lot of waiting around. So I have gotten a little bit of PvP and stuff like that in so far, but like I said, it's not very consistent and I was wasting a lot of time. So basically I'm gonna say 
we're just going to get what we get at this point. <laughs> so I may not show off every covenant. I'll do my best to at least explain how they all work. And then we'll sort of hope for the best. But either way, I do want to, at the very least, get to the the alternate ending. Right? So that means finishing this playthrough and showcasing where, uh, where that dark rate path leads us to. Um, we'll talk more about that as we approach the end of the game, but basically, at the very least, I want to get that much for you guys. Um, see that I got an arrow too now, buddy. Yeah. So, um, as far as like the greater scope of this channel, right, like, the idea was like, oh, it's gonna be my new gaming channel, right, I'm gonna showcase all these games, I'm gonna do Dark Souls is just the beginning, uh, well, we'll see about that, right. Um, I'm not saying I'm never gonna upload again, but I don't know if I'm gonna be, you know, like your. Oh, oh god! No, 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 no! Okay, start time, start time. Uh, how about we heal instead? Oh my god! Yes. So, in case uh, you didn't realize in some of the previous videos, New Game Plus is much more intense. Uh, so where was I? Yes. Uh, as, <laughs> as I was saying. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be like your, you know, typical full-time kind of YouTuber uploading several times a week on a consistent schedule, showcasing new games, this, that, yada, yada, yada. I know you kind of need to do that to sort of work the algorithm, as they say, and all that. But I sort of realized during my soul searching the past few months that, you know, when I play games, I've always had this feeling, oh my god, really? <laughs> Didn't know he gets iframes on that. I had this feeling of like, you know, I do want to sort of share experiences if that makes sense right like a lot of times i'm just playing games by myself and uh something cool happens and it's like oh well <laughs> no one can see that but uh that's where i hope youtube would come in and sort of fix that is that you can have some people watching along and then we'd all have fun together and we'd all be friends and world peace and all that but but um yeah in order to i think i was too focused on the sort of I don't know, the, the money side of things. <laughs> Not that I was literally hoping to get money and retire on this. Um, it'd be cool, but I want to bring it back to just sort of having fun, you know? If that means just being on an awkward schedule and not getting a bunch of views, then so be it. So, like I said, I want to I wanna power through. I want to finish Dark Souls. I'm, I got the momentum. Um, and I do think we're definitely going to get to the end of that. After that, and who knows what I'm going to play next, but I'm going to play what I want, how often I want. And whoever wants to come along for the ride is free to do so. I think that's going to be the more sustainable thing, because, like I was saying, that you got to have fun with it, right? Otherwise, it just becomes another job and become, it loses this heart and soul of the game. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of different. So that's that's where we're at. Um, either way, let's bring it back to the game. Um, I've been working my way back down through the depths, because this is where we went last time. Um, I don't know if there's too much point that, right? Like, I mean, we did the depths last time <laughs> in the original playthrough. Uh, I think I just sort of showed off this shortcut this time, though, because I noticed as I was fighting way, my way up, there were the butcher that ambushes up us in that direction was still there, which kind of surprised me. But either way, I grabbed the ember, and um, that's actually why I was at Andre just before, because my um, bow here was not upgraded. Here it is now, so um, in case I didn't show this originally, you can drop down here. And this is where the big rat would be. Uh, he is dead, though. We don't. Okay, well, <laughs> I was going to say, there's a spider shield. I think I showed that in the first playthrough, so. Either way, we still have one, so not a big deal. Uh, there's also this shortcut, which I'm not sure if I showed that the first time. But either way, slide down, stick to the left, and here you are. So, um, got Black Flame. Very strong pyromancy. We got that in our first playthrough when we were in the Abyss. Uh, Kirk was this way. I believe I killed him as well, so... Unfortunately, uh, you're going to miss out on him. Yeah, but his fight is the same pathetic self. Um, I believe he was actually running around with his armor, because um, I was wearing the armor of thorns at the, when I came back here. And if I recall, I believe, like, as soon as I saw... I haven't played this since the footage was corrupted. Anyway, we got our rat here. It goes down pretty easily. Now, like I said, the main event of the last episode was fighting the... Um, Gaping Dragon with the Chandler still alive. And I think I can prove because let's let's take a look. Right. And door is open, that means I got the key. And that means I killed him. 
but if we go ahead and make our way... Oh, wait, these are the hunter rats. I forgot. I forgot about them. <laughs> They're probably very dangerous in New Game Plus. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go this way, right? Because if we can find the channel and he's still alive, then that will kind of prove my case. I'm pretty sure he's still alive, right? Like, I'd be very surprised if I went and killed him after finding out the footage was gone. So let's go see if we can find him. And then maybe we'll call the episode at that. Uh, ooh, let's farm some humanity over here. In fact, we'll showcase one of my favorite firemancies again, the Great Chaos Fireball. And they're down. Oh yeah. Very handy for taking out groups. Um, got a great axe that you don't need. Uh, anyway. Another thing about the playthrough that I think I want to point out is that I'm probably also going to tone it back, just like with the PvP. Um, we're going to see how much showcasing of every weapon I'm going to do. I know <laughs> I was talking about how I forgot to buy a bunch of magic in before I went to New Game Plus, <laughs> so we're going to have to wait until we get back to the Duke's archives to get the good late game spells from uh, Big Hat Logan and such. But um, still, hopefully in the final-ish episodes, we'll be able to get there. Uh, somewhere around here is the... I think this is where the channel is. There he is. And I told you, ladies and gentlemen, I did it. I fought the Gaping Dragon with the Sky Alive. And in case you forget how he works, that little dance he does powers up enemies. Um, okay, I killed him before <laughs> I could show off, but that these guys would have been glowing, and they therefore would have done a lot more damage. But we've seen that in previous episodes, so not that big of a deal. Oh, he dropped an item. <gasps> we got the trident. We got the trident. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I don't think I had the trident yet, but this is a fairly rare drop. And I forget if it's just a spear, but I think you can also cast spells with it. Let's see here. Uh, it's a spear. I don't know, the six side channelers, sorcerers who serve, seek the scale is in collecting human specimens, thrust in circular motion, unique martial arts dance that stirs nearby allies into a blood. Oh, that's even cooler. So it allows us to actually do the. Wow, well, that's amazing. <laughs> do the little Urachaka Urachaka dance. And um, I guess that would be if I summon anyone. So maybe we'll give that a try. Like, of all the PvP stuff to do, summoning is actually the easiest. Uh, I guess that's more of a PvE, right? Uh, for those who aren't familiar with um, pro gamer terminology, PvP is player versus player. That's when you are fighting other players, but PvE is player versus environment, which is when you are working together with players in order to fight the, you know, the stuff the game throws at you, uh, which thankfully Dark Souls has both of, so that's cool. So either way, um, that's about it. I guess we'll cut the episode here. I don't know how long it's been. I forgot to check the timer. <laughs> but overall, this should be a 20-ish minutes episode, I'm going to say. And uh, yeah, next up will be Blight Town, which should be extra fun in your game. Plus, I think overall, um, the general goal, like I said, is just showcase some PvP, showcase some Covenant stuff, showcase some weapons and stuff. But otherwise, our main goal is going to be fight all the bosses and then finish the game. So we'll see how many episodes that takes me. <laughs> But uh, either way, I hope you guys are glad to see me back. Um, this, up this episode will, of course, be going up probably in a few days because, like I said, I don't have internet, and that's kind of important for uploading to YouTube. So either way, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.